I'm a fighting man, I'm all got a warrior's heart. There you go. I'm in Saudi. Bring it on. Don't need nothing. Let's fight, mate. We just witnessed one of the most epic clashes in boxing history. Francis taking on Tyson Fury, one of the most intense matches we've ever seen. But if you think you can't get a better heavyweight clash than this one, well, you got another thing coming at you because Francis's coach, the one and only Mike Tyson, has agreed to fight John Fury, father of the heavyweight champion, on one brutal condition. Yep, you heard that right. Iron Mike versus Big John, something we never thought we'd get to see. I mean, John always wanted a piece of Mike, but Mike, on the other hand, never had any intention to entertain that fight until now. But don't get too ahead of yourselves. The only way this fight gets to see the light of day is if Big John accepts Mike's condition. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this drama. The boxing legend Mike Tyson and the mean machine John Fury have been beefing for years now. But things really took a turn during the buildup of Francis vs. Tyson Fury. At times it seemed like it was Mike and John who were stepping into the ring with the amount of trash talk they were doing. Big John called him out several times. But Mike only had one thing to say. He's just not on my level. Completely savagery from Iron Mike's side. He didn't only shut down John Fury's fight offer, but humiliated him, saying that he's not on his level. And Mike isn't wrong to say that. Mike Tyson is considered to be the best of all time. And John Fury, on the other hand, well, let's just say he was never the best boxer. But here comes the juicy part, guys. Brace yourselves, because it's about to get interesting. After Francis schooled Tyson Fury in the ring, everything changed. No one was expecting the MMA guy to outbox the pro boxer in the ring. Even though Francis completely embarrassed Tyson in the ring, the judges still gave the split decision victory to the Gypsy King. The Cameroonian boxer got robbed in broad daylight, and his coach Mike Tyson was not having it. Mike was demanding an immediate rematch for his fighter. But after that beatdown Tyson Fury took, a rematch with Francis was the last thing on the Gypsy King's mind. He's gonna stay away from Francis as far as possible, but Mike Tyson won't allow it. He came up with a scheme and it's gonna work. Mike Tyson agreed to a fight with John Fury on one condition, and that condition is that he'll take the fight if Tyson Fury agrees to a rematch with Francis. In a recent interview, Iron Mike said, I don't mind knocking out John Fury, but I'll take the fight on one condition. If John Fury wants to have a go at the greatest of all time, he needs to convince his son Tyson Fury to fight Francis in the rematch. That's the only way I'll fight him. Now this makes everything interesting all of a sudden because John Fury will never miss out on an opportunity to get in the ring with the legend Iron Mike. And if there's one thing we know about Big John, it's that he's a very persuasive guy. So if there's one person who can convince Tyson Fury for a rematch with Francis, it's John Fury. I mean, if you're gonna listen to someone, it's gotta be your father. And that's exactly what Iron Mike had in mind before he called out Big John. This way, Francis can get the victory in a dominant fashion, and all Iron Mike has gotta do is wipe the floor with John Fury which is going to be a walk in the park for him. Just take a look at what Iron Mike said about going head-to-head -head with Big John. Easiest payday of my entire life. John Fury is not a good boxer and never was. I can knock him out in any round I want. The confidence is there for Mike Tyson. And why wouldn't it be? This fight with Big John is a total mismatch. But keep one thing in mind. Everyone used to say the same thing about Francis versus Tyson Fury. Everyone had Tyson Fury winning the fight with an early KO. But that's not how it went down on fight night. Fury got too cocky. He underestimated Francis and paid the price for it. Now who's to say the same won't happen with Mike Tyson? Because the way he's talking right now shows he's underestimating Big John. And this could just become Mike's biggest nightmare. A guy like John Fury is not something you should take lightly. Big John has dedicated his entire life to the sport of boxing. I mean, he's the foundation behind Tyson Fury's career. Say what you want about the Gypsy King right now, but he's the face of boxing, and John Fury made him that way. He knows what it takes to be great, and he knows that stepping into the ring with Mike Tyson is no joke. He's gonna come fully prepared, because this fight is personal to John Fury. Now let me tell you why. Did you know that John Fury named his son Tyson after the legend Mike Tyson himself? Yep, that's right. So when it was announced that Mike Tyson is cornering Francis in the fight instead of Tyson Fury, who's named after him, it made Big John furious, pun intended, and why wouldn't it? John had every right to feel betrayed here. Mike Tyson should be backing the boxer in this fight, and especially the one who's named after him. But it looks like this boxing legend had different plans. This didn't sit right with Big John, and he went off to do what he does best, 
trash talking. In an interview, the father of the Undisputed took shots at Mike Tyson and let's just say he did not hold back. John said, Mike Tyson is a traitor. He should be ashamed of himself. I named my son after him. This guy is gonna get it. I am a machine. John Fury is one of the best talkers in this scene and it shows. But if you were one think that Mike Tyson was gonna stay quiet and let John Fury talk his piece, well, you got another thing coming at you cause Iron Mike fired back. And he responded with style, He's just a scaredy cat. He can't say that to my face. I'm vicious. He fears me. Mike is talking as if he's the king of the world. Easy there, big guy, cause John Fury is coming for all the smoke. Big John then went on a record and said this. Listen, let's get it on if you want to fight me. I feared no man. The only thing I feared in my life is God Almighty. If you've got two arms, two legs and a head, I'm not frightened of you. Never, I've faced men with ammunition today on my own. Never. Mind, fists, and feet. Fighting, I love it. And I have what it takes to humble Mike Tyson. Big John really let it out there. This shows how serious he is about this sport and that he's willing to put all the work required to take down Iron Mike. And the fans are absolutely loving it. I mean, who wouldn't want to see this epic fight? It has already become the talk of the town. And boxing fans can't help but share their excitement all over social media. One of the fans wrote this on Twitter. We just saw the biggest upset in boxing with Francis versus Fury. I feel like John is going to cause another huge upset. He is no joke. Anything can happen in the ring. That's the beauty of this sport. So I wouldn't be surprised if John Fury finishes the job with Mike Tyson. Another fan tweeted, Mike Tyson is going to destroy Fury. It's a total mismatch. Mike is the best boxer of all time, whereas all Fury knows is how to talk. He is not a real fighter and he'll get knocked out easily. It's getting heated now. Yes, John Fury may not have the belts or a perfect record like Mike, but at the end of the day, he's still a fighter and he's coming to fight. So if I were Mike Tyson, I would not take him lightly. The only reason Iron Mike took this fight was so Francis could get his rematch with Tyson Fury. Now it makes you wonder, is Mike Tyson really serious about jumping in the ring or does he just want Francis to have his rematch? Cause the guy in front of Mike is gonna be coming for it all. John is serious about this, but is Mike taking things seriously? Because if not, it's going to be a long night for him. Big John is gonna walk him over and if he manages to pull the upset, he'll save the Fury name, cause you gotta remember. Right now, the Fury fight family is in a tough spot after they robbed Francis of his win. Big John has the chance to save the Fury legacy. Now the question is, will he come short or will he stand tall? Guess we'll have to just wait and see how this one plays out. So there you have it. Fight World, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like this video, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace out.